What we now call Leiden Street in downtown Plymouth has been known in other times as First Street, Great Street, Broad Street, and simply the street. We went on a walkthrough with Pilgrim Hall Museum Executive Director Dr. Donna Curtin to learn more about the oldest continuously occupied street in town. We're here at the gateway of some of Plymouth's earliest history at Leiden Street. This street has been known in the past as the Great Street or the First Street and it was one of the earliest streets laid out in the community of Plymouth. Of course, we also have to recognize this area was earlier the village of Patuxet and the homelands of the Wampanoag people. There was a thriving community here before the pilgrims arrived. And this street may even have been an original pathway of the indigenous people before the arrival of the pilgrims in 1620. Leiden Street is intimately associated with the history of the Mayflower Pilgrims. Remember, they were exploring along the coast after sighting land at Cape Cod in November of 1620. They arrived here in Plymouth and determined this was the place in December and immediately decided they would apportion lots of land to the 19 family groups represented on the ship so that these families could start building shelter for themselves. They needed to protect themselves against the elements, and also many of the passengers had begun to fall sick. So providing a place for them to care and tend for one another was critical. One of the first shelters that they built was a common house. This was to be used for the common good of the colony. Those early shelters built here on Leiden Street were really essential to the survival of those that made it. Why did the pilgrims decide to settle here in Plymouth? Along their explorations, one of the important things they were looking for is good water, and they found that here aplenty. There was the Town Brook, a wonderful waterway that would offer them both fish and drinking water and multiple springs of water that the early settlers described as fair, sweet, and delicious. To them, it was almost as good as the beer that they would prefer to drink. Why was Leiden Street laid out here? Well, its proximity to their source of water was a help. But another feature of the street is that it is laid out on a steep incline. We are gonna go up the hill. And for the early settlers, that hill offered them another way to protect and defend the early settlement. They mounted their ordnance, their cannons on the top of the hill. And an early visitor to Plymouth described the street as being a cannon shot in length. Part of the topography of Leiden Street is the steep slope along its north and eastern corner, which is today known as Coles Hill. You see this beautiful empty grassy slope behind me. Well, Leiden Street was laid out and lived in by the Mayflower passengers, but their descendants continued to build on the street over time. So there were houses here in the late 17th, in the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries. And the character of the street changed during those later generations. At one point where I'm standing right now, there were many little buildings cut into the hillside. There were homes and shops, and one of them was a, actually a popular destination in the late 19th century for early tourists to Plymouth called the Old Curiosity Shop. People would come to meet its rather unique proprietor, Winslow Brewster Standish, an old local with Mayflower roots, and he would sell them souvenirs and antiques. 19th century, the Pilgrim Society, my organization that owns Pilgrim Hall Museum, had begun to acquire a lot of the property on Coles Hill because they wanted it to be a commemorative and memorial space to their ancestors, to the Mayflower history of the town. And so they began purchasing these buildings and eventually tore them down, demolished them in order to preserve the hillside itself. The brick end house behind me, the Joseph Tribble House, constructed about 1794, rests on the lots where some of those early pilgrim structures had been erected early in the colony's history. Their common house, for example, and their storehouse were once on this area, but those buildings did not survive over time. They were torn down and replaced by the buildings of later generations, including this lovely late 18th century home. We're here on the corner of Carver Street, which connects with Leiden Street right up ahead here. And also, there's an interesting feature that 
is rather distinctive to Plymouth from its colonial days, and that is an alleyway. We're here at the corner of LeBaron Alley. Behind me is the house that was built in 1832 by Captain James Bartlett. He was one of the first Plymouth mariners to invest in the whale fishery in Plymouth. He put together a vessel to go out on a three-year voyage to go after the whales, and they returned with thousands of barrels of very valuable and precious cargo, that whale oil. Religious motivations were important to some of the early colonists that settled Plymouth and laid out Leiden Street. But they actually had some difficulty finding a minister in the early years of the colony. And it really wasn't until the 18th century that Plymouth developed a stronger ministry. One of those important figures was the Reverend Chandler Robbins, who built the house behind me in 1778. He served as minister of Plymouth First Church for 40 straight years. So on Leiden Street, there's layer upon layer of history. We're at the site of where the spiritual leader of early Plymouth Colony, Elder Brewster's original Meerstead and garden plot was assigned and where his home was when he lived in Plymouth Colony. And over time, of course, that 17th century building did not survive and was replaced by a number of different structures. And in the early 20th century with the current building, our federal United States post office building made of brick on the corner. Now behind the post office building was another lot and that w had a home erected in 1703. It is now a vacant area. You can't see that building anymore. But it was erected by Plymouth's first French resident. This was a shipwrecked Frenchman Dr. Francis LeBaron who shipwrecked off Cape Cod in 1694 but built a beautiful and stately mansion right here in Leiden Street in 1703. Sadly, that building did not survive. It was torn down, uh, replaced with a number of different structures, and is today a parking area behind the post office. Leiden Street leads up the hill into historic town square, featuring some of the church buildings of Plymouth, the inheritors of Plymouth's earlier churches, and also its earliest surviving colonial era courthouse, the 1749 courthouse, today a museum with all kinds of local artifacts in it. And behind us, you see even steeper and higher the incline of Burial Hill, which was originally called Fort Hill. That's where those cannons were placed to create the long cannon shot from the top of the hill all the way down out into the harbor that is the length of Leiden Street. Many visitors to Plymouth will walk along historic Leiden Street, following in the footsteps of all those generations that have come before, and their journey culminates here at Historic Burial Hill. This was used early in the colony's history as a graveyard for those early settlers. Not the very first, but sometime soon in the colony's beginning, it, we know it was used that way, and for every generation since until the last interment occurred in the 1950s. And it wasn't until 1824 that we came to know it as Leiden Street. Why was the name changed at that time? It's because Plymouthians had started at the time of their bicentennial year in 1820 to take a greater interest in their own history and connect with it and find meaning in it. And at that point, they thought rather than a more generic name for this main thoroughfare and this historic roadway in Plymouth, that it should have something of historical significance in its name. And they named it Leiden Street to reflect the years that those early Mayflower settlers had spent in the Low Countries in exile before deciding to cross the ocean and come here to America. So Leiden Street, it's been known as ever since. And here at the end point of our tour up Leiden Street, we find at every pace and every step our connections to the generations that have come before us. This can be deeply meaningful for visitors to Plymouth who are searching for their lineage roots, but it's also meaningful to every single person who takes a step here in our historic downtown and realizes we are literally following in the footsteps of those that come before. What are their stories? What do we have to learn from them? Uh, these are the things that we continue to explore. To learn more about the rich cultural history of this area, visit pilgrimhall.org.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.